But anyways, I thought, I thought this crown of righteousness was interesting because it's sort of like the culmination of the three crowns. Uh, and we read that in verse 5 where it says, Watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, which we just talked about. Do the work of an evangelist, the crown of rejoicing. Make full proof of thy ministry. How do you make something full proof? Well, you need to have a good example, right? Where he said to Timothy in another epistle, or in the same epistle, I can't remember, where he says, Hey, let no man despise thy youth, but be an example to the believers. Right? That's how he's going to make full proof of his ministry. He's going to be that good example. So it's interesting. I think of this crowd of righteousness as the culmination of the three. And it's sort of like, you know, when you play a video game and you need to get like the, the set, right? You need to get the crown of rejoicing. You need to earn the crown of um, glory. And you need to earn the, the crown of life. And when you get these three crowns, you can put them together. And now you've got this crown of, of righteousness. Now, how are you going to earn this crown of righteousness? What are a couple of things in 2 Timothy 4. <clears throat> now, in order to earn this crown of righteousness, it's going to require two things, I can see in this passage. Verse 2, it says, Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Now, verse 2 is talking about consistency, isn't it? Being instant means you do something straight away. So you keep keeping the commandments of God. You keep doing the right things straight away. You don't put it off. And you do it when it's popular and when it's not popular. You do it in season and out of season. You be consistent. The other thing is I see in verse 7, I see the faithfulness, right? I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day so we see that it's not only the consistency but it's the consistency until the end we need to finish our course to earn this crown of righteousness now just to tie this in to um you know new year's resolutions you know i didn't really have a new year sermon today but i just thought i'd tie it in you know, everyone's making new year resolutions because we just passed december 31 you know it's january 3rd today and what I want to say to you is, you know, you know don't, make, don't make New Year resolutions. Meaning, don't make resolutions that only last a year. You know, we want, we want something that's going to last forever, right? Up until we die. Up, well, not forever, but up for the rest of our life. So instead of making a New Year resolution, why don't you make a New Life resolution? You know, instead of just saying, I'm going to do this in the New Year. Hey, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. And now when I plan this year, I have that in perspective and that's going to determine how I plan the year as opposed to what I plan to only do in that year or what I'm resolved to do in that year. So make new life resolutions rather than a new year resolution. And you know, if you make a big decision like, hey, you know what, I'm going to be in church every week. You don't have to decide every Sunday whether or not you're going to come to church. You know, if you make one big decision, you don't have to make all these little decisions. You know, I decided long ago that I'm going to go soul winning once a week. So I don't wake up Sunday morning deciding, do I feel like going soul winning this morning? Because if I made decisions that way, I probably wouldn't go soul winning. Because every Sunday I don't feel like going soul winning. Because the flesh wants to sleep in, doesn't want to go soul winning. You know, that, that sort of stuff. You know, wants to rest. But if I make that big decision, then I don't have to make those smaller decisions. And that's why if you make a decision to serve Jesus Christ with your life, you don't have to keep making it every year because you've already made it once. You've already decided to serve the Lord Jesus with your life. And the year is just about planning what you're going to do with that year. The other thing about New Year's resolutions is, you know, when it comes to change in your life, it's not just going to happen in one night. You know, the, the, like, the change for the year is not going to happen on December 31st. It's about being instant in season and out of season. It's about being consistent. You know, instead of just you know, being a, you know, doing something great for God and just doing it, uh, you know, like being a, a, the thorny ground here and just springing up, you know, and you're excited about things and you're reading about things, and you're go going soul winning every week, you're at church every week, and a couple of months down the road, you're gone. You know, don't have this perspective. Have a perspective where you're being consistent for the rest of your life. Why don't you just start out be doing something week after week after week and then you'll look back at your life and realize how much you've done for the Lord. This is the way you're going to earn this crown of rejoicing. It's not about doing a great amount in a small amount of time, but doing something consistently for a long period of time. Hey, if you can do a great amount consistently, even better, right? <clears throat> 
even better for you. So what are some applications for us to consider when it comes to the crown of righteousness? Well, what it, what it tells me, if, if the crown of righteousness is a culmination of the other three crowns, and this is the crown we ought to be striving for, then we want balance in our life, don't we? We don't want to be a one-trick pony where we just, you know, I, you know I'm just crown of rejoicing. I just soul win. That's all I do. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about righteous living. I don't care about Bible. I don't care about prayer. I don't care about doctrine. I just want to win people to Jesus Christ. That's not right because we want to strive for this crown of, uh, of righteousness, don't we? One, part, one side of this is the crown of rejoicing. The other side is the crown of glory. The other side is the crown of life. We want to be balanced in our Christian life and this is what I think this crown is representing. It's representing the balance amongst having the good testimony, you know, having the righteous living, having the work of an evangelist, and then enduring through the times and, and being consistent in our faith. Um, another application hey, is finish a course. You know, it's so easy to be excited for a brief period of time. You know, even with our church being new, hey, it's, exciting. It's, it's easy to be excited about this church. It's new. There's new things that are happening. You know, everything's a first time. You know, breaking this attendance, baptizing people for the first time, doing this, doing that for the first time. Everything's, everything's exciting. But ask yourself, where are you going to be in, in five years? Where are you going to be in 10 years? Are you still going to be sitting in a church somewhere on Sunday morning? You know, I don't know how, even in, in my short life, I've seen people come and go. People that you know, were zealous, soul winning, week after week after week, and, and you know, all they wanted to talk about was the Bible. You know, they, they'd come, they were excited, they were happy. Where are they now? They're gone, you know? Because um, it's really easy. We just need to keep that in perspective. It's really easy to get excited when everything is new. But when things start getting hard, that's when you really prove how strong your faith is. You know, because when things are going well, it's easy to do what's right. But when things are not going so well, are you still going to keep doing what's right? Are you going to finish your course, like Paul uh, says here in, in um, 2 Timothy? <sighs> and, and the last thing to, for us to consider about this crown, you know, don't compare yourself to others. We will be judged according to our own ability. So are you doing your best? 